Doc sounded so excited on the phone. I wonder what's up. Telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want congratulations. I would have loved to have been wrong. Or better yet, for those in a position of power to have listened to me and done something. But they didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless so this is where the party is. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's happening inside. Geronimo! MJ. I'm at the fifth location. Either there's a weird cosplay thing going on, or it's the demons. Could be both. They need social lives, too. Then let's see if I can make some new friends. Or enemies. Oh, yeah. 
restore until I thought I'd won just to be mean, weren't you? Peter, it looks like Steve took over a legitimate auto repair business. Explains where the demons get all their vehicles. Trucks, ambulances. Exactly. You shut this down, they'll have a tougher time moving around the city unnoticed. <laughs> I would hate to see the group text that got you all here! MJ, I may have just done the opposite of repair at this repair shop. Don't worry, I'll get the cops down there. They'll clean things up. That's all the places I could link to Martin Lee. We just made life a lot harder for the demons. And easier for the DA to build a case against him. Thanks, MJ. I owe you dinner. Have you ever been driving along, going to work or church, minding your own business when suddenly bang?
to get that arming key. Don't think about the block of C4 this is wired to. Engage for the other bombs. Gotta move quick. My team will dispose of the bomb. Great work, Spider Man. Happy to help, officer. Stay safe. Control. Need a report of the situation north of Houston. Stevens are attacking Outpost Romeo. Send back up. The demons are turning the city into a war zone. Not on my watch. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. For you, but no need to pay me. Action is my reward.
Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know... Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I'm... Mr. Call, we still on for dinner? about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to stay crisp. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's, no expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. sale in progress. Reported location is near Midtown North. Over. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? Control. Re 
requesting this update from Museum Mile. Taking heavy fire from teammates at Checkpoint Delta. MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. What happened? So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Everything okay? I'm hearing things. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, I heard something. Hey, when do we get a new research saw? What is this? Some kind of the office must be to my right. Someone there. Need to move careful through here. Anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Seeing things. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, feels paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Those barrels seem important. 
Alchemax. Why is that? What's in these? Won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Building for Lee. But why does he need an arm? Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were... Pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking. What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? What, like a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah. Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, Steve, check it out. Hey, it's me. 
story is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got... Gotta be related to Devil's Breath. Search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. <laughs>